Women's Challenge Cup. Race 62 of the day. Attention! Berkshire side, the Go. University Barge Club from Philadelphia, USA. And Bucks, the Vesta Rowing Club from uh, much closer to home. And the Americans of Schuylkill River in uh, Philadelphia have made the more zestful start, the more purposeful start. A clean getaway and uh, already most of a boat length clear. I believe that this University Barge Club crew is made up of graduates of quite a few of the Division I colleges in the US, so guys who perhaps aren't at their peak fitness, but certainly have been in top-level crews and therefore know probably how to race here at Henley, but also know, you know how to execute a really good game plan, which is what they've done here. I mean, they've cleared out really quickly they didn't look that tidy going off the start. It looked a little bit scrappy in terms of how they were moving together, but they're obviously a very strong crew. Which uh, adds credence to the notion that a lot of sport, even this most muscular of sports, is between the ears. Rowing savvy and ability to deal with the occasion, to understand the race, and uh, very evidently the experience of the University Barge Club is and has counted for a lot here, leaving Vesta a long, long way behind. Vesta, one of the, uh, the traditional Putney Embankment boat clubs. Yeah, this Vesta crew I know isn't one of their top boats and has some guys in it. I, I know certainly the, the three-man, Ali McCormack, he's a product of Vesta Rowing Club, so he learned to row there as a novice. And their cox, Helen Gray, had taken some time out of the sport but is now come back for another another crack at Henley. I, I don't think, unfortunately, this is going to be their year, as you can see here. University Barge looked fairly comfortable out ahead there. But certainly a young crew and, you know, willing to give it a good go, as you can see from the shots here. And presumably to learn if, if they understood in advance, and I'm not talking in a defeatist manner here, but if they understood in advance that they were likely to be up against it here, perhaps, you'll tell me if I'm wrong, they will have set themselves targets lessons to learn what can we take out of this race yeah i think generally speaking when you're racing a crew that you expect to be particularly strong you are going to go out and try and do something a bit different so maybe put a bit more into your start so it might be a slightly unrealistic speed to start off with it might not be that maintainable but you've got to do something you can't you, know, you can't just let another crew row away from you so i think in most of those cases crews will be prepared to do something a little bit different to what they've done before to make sure they're in the race for as long as they can be. Michael Kelly there, the uh, Cox of the University Barge Club, face to face with Cornelius McPeak in the uh, stroke seat. And again, there is uh, an ease about the stroke now, uh, stroke which uh, is enabled to luxuriate the knowledge that the result is uh, beyond question now and another strong American 8 is carrying itself beyond Wednesday into Thursday and very probably beyond what is a uh, very competitive field as ever in the Thames Challenge Cup. And you can see the water's getting a little rougher now, the wind's been blowing up all day and it's not that glassy, flat, lovely river that we saw earlier on first thing absolutely this is what happens you know and you've got to be ready to prepare for any conditions and just go with whatever the river throws at you and i suspect that we may have uh, drama of a meteorological na uh, nature tomorrow when the uh, forecast is for potential heavy downpours of the sort that only occur when temperatures reach unusually high peaks in this country so it could well be that you're boating in the sunshine and uh, hitting the start line in the rain, but that is for tomorrow. It's been wall-to-wall -wall sublime sunshine today, and uh, under these not quite cloudless skies, but nevertheless, on this most beautiful afternoon, the uh, University Barge Club, as very much expected, are coasting home to victory and into the next round of the Thames Challenge Cup. 
hope is that uh, Vesta Rowing Club, whom really they left from the very beginning, will have uh, derived some satisfaction. I've got to go anyway. And indeed, uh, learned some racing lessons from this experience. Vesta beaten, and the University Barge Club through.